every semester, a few hundred SE students and more than 20 teams try their best to compete to be number one. My name is Oyin. The MDP is taking place and I vow to gather the perfect team. Uh, we like to join this journey. Um, can I say no? To assemble the ideal robot, we will need a body, nervous system, brain, and last but not least, the commander. Do you have any suitable candidates in mind? I think I might know the right guys to get this done. I believe the next thing we'll need is to get the best brains around here. And we know who can do it. Lily Rinchin, Emmeline, we need the best brains around for our robot. Are you guys up for the challenge? Challenge accepted. The brain of the robot is highly dependent on the algorithm which used to run. Both the history and stick to the wall are used for exploring the map. Stick to the wall maximizes the chance of a robot to calibrate with the wall using sensors. The history is able to adapt to every changing map to compute path to go on the spot. It recalculates the fastest path whenever the robot detects an obstacle ahead. Whenever obstacles are detected, the robot follows the priority rule that turn right, go straight, and turn left. I guess now all we need is a commander, and I got the right guy for that. Let's go! With the game console idea and applying human-computer interaction, we focus on creating a fancy and unique design with a great user experience for an Android app. The arena will be included with a surface view map and all the interactive controls are done using a proper and customized Android widgets using Photoshop. The Bluetooth connection will serve as a communication channel to send and receive string message with the robot. I'm ready to drive now, but where's the robot? The robot hardware. It is as if it's the body of the human. It requires a sturdy structure in order to endure the terrain. With a strong body built, we will brave the arena. The communication is the consciousness of the robot. The robot will fetch its command from the brain, that is the algorithm, and it will move accordingly to the instructions from the brain. The legs are two different motors. Like a baby, he has to learn how to balance his wheels, learn to walk straight before any other movements can be taught. We use a method called a PID to teach the robot how to walk. The sensors, the eyes, will detect any obstacles in its path. It also serves a purpose of aligning itself to the walls around it. Since the team has decided to use sticking to the wall algorithm, wall alignment is crucial. Now we only left the nervous system, but I don't think it's a big deal. Do you want to join us to make the best robot in ATU? Sure, we can enchant with the nervous system. This magic RPI. To connect, we should configure the RPI so that the robot body, brain, and commander can connect to RPI and communicate through RPI. Now, let us move on to write a robotic track C program to define and handle all communications among the robot's brain, body, and commander. Most importantly, when there is a disconnection, our program can automatically reconnect and restore the connections. Now that the team is assembled, Let's roll!
With the constraints of the robot movement, it takes longer to make a turn than moving in the straight line. Factoring in this constraint, the fastest path algorithm produces a path with the least amount of turns by controlling the pass function of the big stride algorithm. Now, <laughs> 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 <laughs>